Hey, 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 what's up everybody? HTG Brian here, back with another LEGO Batman video. This is level 5, the face-off. Free play! We're gonna find all 10 of those mini kits, get that stud requirement, find that power brick, and also rescue that hostage in peril. Now, this is the last mission of the first episode of the hero side of things, so we're uh, almost one-third of the way done. And because this is free play, we do have quick links down below in the video description. And of course, all non-essential gameplay and cutscenes have been removed, and uh, it might even be a little sped up. Yeah, we like to speed things up a little bit around here. Speaking of which, we're going to hop into the old Batmobile, target the face-off level, which is number five. You can see we got that frown that needs to be turned upside down, and uh, we'll rescue that hostage in peril as well. Same thing, same thing. All right, as soon as we start off, we've actually got a little bit of eradication to do. Some baddies need eradied. We're going to go ahead and smash them all down, collect as many studs as possible, and make our way towards the, the gate system up here where we need to smash this entire box down. And it is weird. It's got like left, right, top, and a bottom. you got to hit that bottom piece before they'll start bouncing around. Once they do, you can assemble them into a weird kind of scanner device. You're going to want to smash down the old telephone phone booth there and build up whatever that is it's some sort of a grabber mechanism and then flip both of the levers down that's going to reveal the access to bring this truck in and have it scanned man there you can see it's going to go ahead and lock it into place the scanner goes ahead and does its thing it's like a new age car wash man it's a, it's a brushless wash <laughs> i don't know what's really going on there looks like it apparently just needed to pass approval and it did so inspection complete we'll go ahead and advance through and make our way to this elevator in the back now this is a bit of a funny angle and the ai is sometimes not so i i do mean intelligent as you can see there it dropped right off the back side unfortunately we'll have to repeat that Basically, you place one here, toggle over to your other character, and push on the green side of the switch. Now, as a little piece of advice, I do recommend toggling over to your character and taking advantage of the controls yourself. Now, we're up on this diving board here. We're going to need a character with the glide feature. We chose old Batman with his wingsuit because we can go ahead and glide over there. Now, it's not been my best character. And once we get over here, we're going to go ahead and hop on all of these pylons or whatever they are. Once all five have been compressed, it's actually going to puke out a mini kit for you. <laughs> All right, now there are a bunch of hazard bricks scattered around the level. We are going to need them for a mini kit later, so I highly recommend grabbing them as you see them. Now we need to go ahead and take the batter ring or rubber ring and smash that piece up there and flip the switch, which is going to give the bridge nice access for our other character. Now you could double jump over this rather than bringing the vehicle in, or you can simply park the vehicle on that pad. But the one recommendation I will say is if you don't park the vehicle and you do jump over, make sure you cheese both characters because. If you don't, you're going to be fighting all this area with one character. And then at the very end, we actually need both of them to go ahead and step on a pressure-sensitive switch. So just make sure you bring them all, both over. All right, next up, after you take out all the bad guys, we're going to use one of these money trucks to go ahead and smash all these silver bricks. Now, of course, you could use the old demo suit and uh, maybe even penguin bombs. I'm not sure if that would work or not. But we got to take all these pieces out and then start in the middle. And what we're doing here is building a giant dollar sign. Now, once we go to the left, we're going to get half of the build. So we'll have to go over to the right as well. Once all pieces are assembled, it should, like I said, give you a dollar symbol. It should retract up onto the building and leave behind a nice little mini kit. Now, there's quite a few of those in this area, so we're going to do a lot of work before we advance and hit those two pressure-sensitive switches up on the old scaffolding up on the high left side. But, uh, yes, next up, mini kit number two. Thank you. All right, left corner, just beyond where we were. We're going to use the techno suit and get our oomphs, oomphs, oomphs on. Look at that. It actually disables the laser beams. We're going to be able to go into the old Facebook building. <laughs> See that? It's got FB on the front of it there. That's not what it is. But anyways, it's fun to say that. We'll go ahead and spin to win and get that mini kit inside there. And, of course, uh, outside, hazardous bricks. I recommend slurping them up. We've got officially 12 in the bag now. Now, over on the left-hand side, just left to the techno panel, we actually have a whole bunch of techno P or psych hazard bricks that we can pick up and actually add them to... Oh, yes, look at that. We actually have them all. So we grab the, the group out front of the gate. We grab the ones in front of the old Facebook building, and then we also grab the ones over on the left side. That gave us enough. Now, there are more bricks scattered throughout. Up top, high left, uh, down low left, I believe, 
And there is even some in the front right corner where another mini kit will be found here in a hot second. But once you get all 25, deploy them into that container. It's going to make it rain. And look at that. We've got some bouncing palms now. Now, it's a little bit of a funny angle, and I missed it not once but twice. So in the words of our good friend Tude, nailed it. First try. Once you get up there, double jump again, and we'll make our way over to the mini kit because that's what we were after. But hey, while we're up here, let's go ahead and rescue that hostage in peril too. <laughs> All right, so 18 of 25 done did. And uh, I think we still have one more that uh, we accidentally got in the story or had to get in the story rather. And we'll get caught up with that eventually. All right, as I mentioned, front right corner, grapple point, get up there. There is a mini kit as well as a couple of hazard breaks in the event that for whatever reason you were short. All right, next, we got to go all the way to the far left side, pull out old moon boots, and we'll go ahead and ride this metal wall to the top, flip the lever, and then I think I accidentally fall off like a nub. Nope, I make it. All right, we need to uh, jump out onto these handhelds. This is a little bit of a tricky situation right here, or a funny angle, as I like to say. A double jump character is probably ne not needed, but helpful there as well, because you can get a little higher in case you miss that little jump at the end there. And what we need to do now is smash these little, I don't know what they are, some sort of handles, and uh, build up the old grapple point where our secondary character can grapple up, smash and build the second lever, flip them both, and we are out of here. Up top, we got to smash the old red grate, and in we go. All right, now we got the beginning of a two-face battle here, so we'll go ahead and deplete that meter just a wee bit, take a couple hearts off. He's going to retreat once we do that, and that'll give us a little bit more freedom to do as we please, which is going to be switched to a character with immune to toxins, immunity to toxins, and then grab that mini kit tucked into that little cavern over there. A little bit of a lazy placement, if you ask me, and so is the next one. Uh, if I'm being honest, this next mini kit is kind of funny, too, so... Uh, take out a few more hearts, he'll retreat yet again, he'll call in his goons, we get a nice little cinematic scene here, and it locks him up in that safe, and we're going to take a few of these guys out with some long distance pew pews, and then of course uh, we're going to drop down into the sludge, because there's a mini kit down there hiding, I almost didn't see that one, but uh, luckily for our guide, and shout out to our guide writer Adam, thank you for this glorious info. Uh, oh, and shout out to Todd and Harrison, too, for hooking us up. That's twice Todd's got a shout out. Come on, you gotta pay extra for those, usually. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, we're working on the red brick or the power brick for Slam over on the left hand side. Now, there is a process in which you're supposed to push these buttons. The guide says red, blue, purple, green, but the game says red, blue, green, purple. So we'll go with that one. Once you get them all uh, officially pressed, it should give us green lights, opens the door, and we can snag up that red brick for slam. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be using that much, but... All right, hey, on the front right side, same thing, but on the right side, we're going to go ahead and double jump up and grab mini kit number eight. Now, if you're struggling to get that, you can also use Mr. Freeze to go ahead and freeze this spot right here, and it actually gives you a nice little ice ledge. Now, uh, once you're ready to go ahead and dip on out of here, make your way over to the levers, flip them both, and it's easy to do as the double jump can get you up to that left side too. Boo -to -doo. All right, next up, we've got this crazy scanner room. We gotta just avoid those green, uh, I don't know what they are. There's some sort of heat panels or something that melt the minifig legs if you touch them, so please do not. Once you get all of those icons changed colors, it should open up the back and we are out of there. Now we got mini kit number nine. As it turns out, there are five of these giant treasure chests scattered throughout here. Two are just right there in the front grounds, and three of them are hiding behind these silver bars. Now you can actually just smash those silver bars. You do not need a silver brick breaker to do this, uh, but I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and drop some bombs and get them both at the same time, man. Same time. So I'll go ahead and drop them there, and we'll watch it. Boop, 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 boop. Four and five, officially done, did, and we can collect that mini kit. Now, over on the far right side, there is a cubby hole with another lazy mini kit placement over there. And we'll go ahead and swoop that up in a second. But what we're going to do is smash these gold boxes or towers of gold bricks. And uh, we'll go ahead and build those pieces up into what ends up being like a mirror. We're going to reflect some heat rays that uh, old Riddler shoots at us here in a hot second. Now, I got a little, a little tired of getting shot in the face by old Two-Face. So we go ahead and deplete that meter a little more. He retreats, and of course, I plant another bomb like a noob. 
That's one downside to the build button. It's also the same as a lot of the action buttons. So for me, uh, building up a pile of bricks is the same button as deploying a bomb. So that explains why I keep placing bombs on the ground. Now, eventually we get through the goons. We've got that mirror built up for the reflection. We're gonna go ahead and take Two-Face all the way down. So depleted meter. And uh, once that happens, we're gonna make our way over to the right, grab that mini kit, which you can do at any point really, but we just grabbed it then. You can see Riddler shot his shot and bounced it off. And now we've got some bricks we can build up into some red locks. And no more locked doors. All right, we go ahead and smash the gold bars down and we should have a pile of bricks. Yep, we sure do. And of course, we're going to build up that mirror. And uh, I, I guess I should go ahead and mention now, we've got all the collectibles. You guys are welcome to go ahead and hit the save and exit feature from your menu. Or of course, you could finish the level and deplete that meter all the way like we do. It's that whole method of switching back and forth. <laughs> I tried to plant a bomb and use it against Riddler, but it actually backfired. It took out Robin. That was not part of the plan. Uh, more goons get called after the first three hearts are depleted. And then uh, take out the goons. He should drop back down. And it's a matter of just switcheroo again. You get up close. Give him the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. He starts attacking you. Switch to the other character. Hit him in the backside. And it should deplete another one of those hearts. All right. And uh, we're almost halfway done. One more and he should retreat again. Yep. Bye. More goons. It's just a rinse and repeat. Now, hey, uh, we have 10 more free play levels. And then we're going to jump into some free roamage and bonus levels so uh, there are a few things we need to do and purchase we will of course do a final live stream video for this like we always do with the character and brick purchases uh don't forget the vehicles got to get those vehicles too got to get them all got to get them all but uh essentially we're get, uh, i wouldn't say we're in the home stretch once we get through the next episode and we're in the final free play i would say we're getting pretty close but hey 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 we've officially finished this free play slam red brick on lock 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 and of course, we've got tons of studage. At this point, it's pretty useless. Um, not sure why they put the 4 billion cap on. I guess it was just uh, easier on the resources counting, perhaps? I should look that up or maybe tweet it out to them. That'd be a good thing. They're like figuring out some of these facts that make no sense, but probably have reasoning for them. Like, why'd you cap at 4 billion? And it might be a resource thing. It might not have anything to do with that. Maybe they just thought 4 billion was so many that nobody would ever get that high. <laughs> we were there way long time ago. All right, another mini kit getting built up. This one is like, I don't know what, it's like some sort of a, it almost looks like a gun, but then it looks like a building or like a mountain or a building on a mountain. Not exactly sure. I do know that there is a showcase where all the mini kit builds are in the free room, and we'll check that out at some point too. But hey guys, that's going to wrap it up for Lego Batman Level 5, the face-off free play. Hopefully you guys found this video a wee bit entertaining, but mostly helpful with all those mini kit locations, as well as that power brick and that hostage in peril too. Anyways guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. As always, until next time.